Hi guys, it's Barnaby from Spurred On, and I know I don't need to tell you this because a lot of you are going to be gamers and loving the best games that are out at the moment. Of course, to play on consoles, it's FIFA, but in terms of PCs, it's only ever been Football Manager. I've been playing Football Manager since 1993, back when it was Championship Manager. Then they had a split and it's become Football Manager, and in terms of football management simulations, it is the only game. Anyway, we're going to do a couple of videos for you about it as it's released today, guys. Go out and buy it or get it online on stream. It's an amazing game, go and get it. But today we're gonna do a couple of Spurs related Football Manager 16 videos, starting with this one. How good are Spurs on Football Manager 16 and what signings do they think as a game that Spurs are gonna make in the next year? So what we did was we played Football Manager on holiday for a year to see who Maurizio Pochettino would sign and to see how Spurs did in that season coming forward. How realistic will the game be? What kind of players will we be after? And most importantly, how will we do in those cup competitions and in the league? So let me tell you, starting with the Premier League, in the next season, Football Manager thinks that we will finish fourth. That's right, guaranteed Champions League football according to, champion, uh, according to Football Manager 16. Let me tell you who we finished behind. We finished behind Chelsea in first place slightly unrealistic as at the moment let's face it they're relegation fodder in second place came Manchester City that is more realistic I have them odds on for the title in real life and in third place just above us were Manchester United Spurs in fourth let me tell you some other interesting news Liverpool came in sixth place only sixth and those guys who we don't really talk about Woolwich were languishing down in seventh place. Didn't even get in the Europa League. Completely rubbish. Let's hope that's realistic, because at the moment, let's face it, in real life, they're doing far too well. Let me tell you a little bit about the cup competitions over the next year, according to Football Manager 16. In the Capital One Cup, we actually won it. Now, sorry guys, in terms of reality, that doesn't work, because actually, I'm afraid, we went out in real life to Woolwich 2-1 down to Mattia Flamini. However, we'll forget about that. We won it. We beat Hull 3-1 in the final. Therefore, a, a little uh, a game against Michael Dawson and Jake Livermore. Unrealistic, but still great to show that we've got the squad to win some trophies, win some silverware. In the FA Cup, it was Manchester City who took home the trophy. Uh, we actually lost to Everton 2-1 in the fifth round. Is that a realistic way of looking at it? I think if we played Everton in the fifth round, we'd probably turn them over. It'd be a close game, probably go to a replay, but I'd fancy us in two. And then in the Europa League, it was Liverpool who won it, unfortunately. They beat Manchester United 2-0 in the final, who have obviously dropped down out of the group stages in the Champions League. We actually lost on Football Manager 16 on away goals in the semi-final to Liverpool. Anyway, that's just a bit of fun, isn't it? We left it on holiday, we saw how Poch did. Fourth in the league would be great for all of us. More importantly, let's look at who the game and their incredible database that Sky Sports News even use for their own research purposes. Let's see what the game thought, uh, what kind of players the game thought Pochettino is gonna sign in the next year or so. Firstly, our biggest signing for 35 and a half million pounds was Domenico Berardi from Sassuola in Serie A. He scored in the first season on Football Manager 16, 30 goals in 37 games for Sassuolo in Serie A. They're not a big club, so to score that many is incredible. He must be an incredible talent. If you're playing Football Manager 16, we can recommend you put your bid in for him, but it's a lot of money, 35 and a half million pounds. Our second signing was Ilkay Gundogan from Borussia Dortmund. Now I've heard a lot about this player in real life, but on uh, Football Manager, he came for 18.75 million pounds from Dortmund. He can play defensive midfielder, midfield central, or attacking midfielder central, so he gives you a lot of versatility. And, you know, he's kind of a, a, a level head, the kind of player you want to bring in as a definite squad player, not definitely going to oust, uh, I would say, Eric Dyer or Deli Alley in central midfield, but a great squad player, 18.75 million from Dortmund. The third signing they made that I can highly recommend because he's done well for them is Rodrigo from Valencia. Now, I didn't know a lot about this player, but he's an attacking midfielder left or striker, and he was signed for 15.5 million pounds from Valencia. Before Spurs signed him, whilst he was at Valencia, he was playing a 7.34 average rating, which is incredible, and he got six goals and six assists. So that was a terrific signing by Pochettino on the game, especially for only 15.5 million pounds. The last signing that they made, and probably the least exciting one, was Michael Bradley from Toronto. FC. Uh, he's a 29 year old midfielder, very experienced but not a lot more and they spent eight million pounds on him. That to me seems very unlikely. It doesn't seem like a Daniel Levy deal and out of all the stuff that I've seen on Football Manager 16 so far, that to me is the least likely of everything. 
Anyway guys, let us know how you've been doing on Football Manager 16 in the comments section below. Let us know what you think of the game and all. Let us know how long you've been playing it for and maybe more importantly, how many days of your lives have you lost to that incredible game? Also, don't forget to subscribe to the channel on YouTube and follow us on Twitter at Spurred on TV. Come on you Spurs. This video is all about the top five Spurs football manager players. So the players in the Spurs squad who are brilliant on Football Manager 